Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You ever think about how some people just get on your last nerve? It's like, number one, don't talk to me like that. Don't look at me like that. It just it just boils within you. I mean, you, you ooh, you can almost fry some some potatoes on that anger that you got up in your heart. Because you can't stand the way some people treat you. You ain't going to take some of that either. No, 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 no. You're not having it. I, I can hear I can hear some of you now. Next time she tell me that, next time he comes up with me and get up in my face, oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to get him told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not taking that crap no more. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a difference between saying you're done from being abused and there's a difference between some of the stuff you ain't going to take. There are times when you don't want to take any crap. You want to say, I ain't taking no crap. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I don't have to. Well, there are times when the Bible says, humble yourself. And when you humble yourself, you have to always, you have to take life like eating a piece of fish. You eat the fish, but you spit out the bones. Now, there are some things that are tacky, that are really uh, put down, that are disrespectful. There are some things that are patronizing and just an insult to your intelligence. We get that. We all get that crap. But how do you handle it? How do you handle the way they come at you? What are you doing with it? Hmm. You can handle it in your own strength if you want. But look at the past results. Look at all the years you dealt with it your way. Yeah. How's that been for you? Well, sometimes you got to change your whole strategy. You have to determine to learn from every situation. Learn all you can. Develop all you can. Grow and mature all you can. And ask God to show you how to handle what's going down. There are times when it's better for you to walk away without having the last word. Because, you know, some of us, I can call some of y'all, my husband and I used to tease each other and call each other last word Annie and last word Andy. I called him last word Andy when he got the last word in. And he called me last word Annie when I got the last. And we'd always try to beat each other with that last word. But we're playing. Some of y'all ain't playing. Some of y'all are going for the jugular. And here's the sad part. You want to hurt. You want to get somebody back for how they hurt you. You want to slap them in the face with their own mess for how they humiliated you in public in front of all these people. You don't have to go tit for tat, baby. You don't have to exchange evil for evil. You show yourself and God that you are the one with the class. Sometimes the best you can do is walk away. As you walk away, you ask God to help you handle that because it needs to be handled. I was telling one of my friends over the phone this afternoon that one of the ladies jammed me up at the hair salon for doing something I didn't even do. I didn't know what she was talking about. And when she got through jamming me up, I walked into the kitchen. And I gestured to her to meet me in the kitchen, away from everybody else. I didn't jam her back up in public. There are times when that's necessary too, but it must be done decent, in order, and respectfully. Even if you're angry and yelling, it still has to be done 
in a way that you don't have to go and apologize afterwards. Done with class. Now, I had that lady meet me in the kitchen and I said, number one, the first thing you should have done was ask me if I even did what you thought I did. Number two, you should have called me in the kitchen in private. I would never have done that to you in public because I respect you enough not to humiliate you and treat you like a child in front of your own clients. Number three, get all the facts before you come up with a reaction. Here's fact number one. I don't know what you're talking about. Fact number two, I didn't turn that on, so actually I didn't leave it on. Fact number three, the one who did it was the owner. The one you call yourself defending, she's the one that did it. So get your facts straight. I'm done with it. It's over. I'm good. You're good. You can go on back to work. But don't confront me in public like that. That I consider disrespect. And I don't think I deserve that. Not the way I treat you. And she apologized. And that was the end of that. And we got along just fine after that. You don't have to show your behind when they show their behind. You don't have to cuss them out when they cuss you out. Hmm. You don't have to act a fool when they be the fool. Come on now. You're a child of the Most High King. Make your daddy happy. Make him proud. Walk away with your head up. Knowing that you conducted yourself with class and dignity. Yeah, you can get angry, but the Bible says be angry, but sin not. So be careful how you handle these things that happen in life. They're part of our growing process. We have to deal with this stuff. As long as there are people on the face of this planet, you and I got to deal. Hmm. Like it or not, here it come. Bad English, but you get me. Now, when you want to be all that you want to be for God, you don't allow the human factor call the flesh to weigh you down, pull you down, drag you, slow you, sabotage your progress. You don't want to do that. So before you open mouth and insert foot, hmm, open heart and cry out to God first. Get your wisdom before you get revenge then you won't need revenge when he readjusts your attitude because you acknowledged him in all your ways so he could direct your path. He does not only direct your path, he also directs your emotions, your thoughts, your words, even your feelings. He does it all. But do you lean on him for it all or do you just lean on him to supply your needs, to get you out of trouble, get you off the hot seat, make you look good, make you feel good. God is there for every aspect of our lives. Utilize everything he's got. He's got inner healing. A lot of that crap that goes on in life, it wouldn't hurt you. This is the way I put it. The more you heal, the more God heals your heart. The more you heal, the less you feel. The less that crap will mess with you. The less it'll hurt. The more you heal, the less you feel. Get yourself all the healing you can get from God. He's got every bit of it. There is nothing on the face of this planet that anybody can do to you that God cannot heal. I don't care how bad it hurts you. I don't care how it humiliated you. I don't care how it shamed you. There is nothing 
on the face of this planet. Listen, people can do things, make you shut down, get you to a point where you can't love anymore. You can't trust anymore. You can't reach out and touch anymore. You just close yourself down, shut down and close in and keep you to yourself. God can open you back up and give you freedom. See, that's bondage. You may think it's self-protection, but it's bondage. That's not survival, baby. Come out of that shell. Come out of that jail that you built around yourself and ask God to heal you. And when God heals you, you won't need the bars anymore. You won't need your weapons anymore. Inner healing is the most amazing thing you can live with. And God is faithful to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ask or think according to the power that works within. Now, are you willing to work that power and get all the healing you can get? so that you don't have to feel all this nonsense that people want to throw at you. God's like a Novocaine. God's a painkiller. God's a buffering agent. <laughs> Maybe one day you will take the time, because it takes time, but you have to stay at it for years. It may take you 10, 15, 20 years. You stay at it. Every time you see something you need healing in, every time somebody says something or does something that hurts you or digs deep or cuts you hard, you ask God to take the pain out, take the hurt out, take your anger away and enable you to forgive. Watch how fast you get over that crap. It won't be able to ruin your day like it used to. Life is much better, much better when you go to him for your healing and you see how much nice life is, how much nicer life is when you don't have to live in hurt feelings. God bless you.